Hello everybody. I brought this. You know what it is? Octopus in French pulp. I am in Nice, France. Beautiful. It's on the Mediterranean Sea. Today, this morning, I found really, really fresh, fresh octopus. So exciting. I'm going to show you. Oh, show me your face. Here you go. Hey. This guy is four pounds, more than four pounds, two kilos. Amazingly fresh. I can make a soup, stew, braise this one, and side dishes, and porridge, and tons of tons of ideas. All traditional Korean recipes. But today, I like to share a really delicious way of eating this. Easy, simple way. Just cooking and cut slice thinly and eat with the sauce. It's called Muna Sukhe. Here, this, they were freshly caught. I asked the fishmonger, Ujurudi? <laughs> Even though my pronunciation is not perfect, he said, Ui? Ui? <laughs> It doesn't have to be confirmed by him because I know that which one is very fresh. It smells very fresh, not fishy, and this guy is very, very slippery. First, I'm going to clean this guy. All intestine is inside, in the head. So you will find something here, some connected stuff, and all disconnect. And then, inside out, yay! Great. All remove. All disconnect. Remove inside anything like some slippery clothes. Take it out all. Funny story I have. When I was in Korea, we traveled, all my family, we traveled. I bought a huge octopus for my family. So I asked the lady, can you clean the intestine for me? She said, oh, okay, I can clean it for you, but can I keep the head? What kind of dealing is that? It was very shocking for me. Head has also a lot of, lot of meat and it's good. So I said, no, I can do by myself. And then I brought it. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm doing just a peel off the inside the head. So clean. So this is the head inside. Very smooth and white. So let's put it back to normal head. Here you go, like this. Salt, we gotta really rub a lot to remove the, all this dirt or mud in the suckers. So you need to just this way. And massage. When you massage, this is really, really slippery. So we gotta remove the old slippery things. At least a couple of minutes, you need to give a massage. Nice, nice massage. I'm going to wash this and one more time salt and then I will do again the massage. All this, uh, Black stuff, mud is coming out from these suckers. Not very slippery than before, but I like to do one more time with salt. So pretty much clean, isn't it? All the in the circle. But still a little around here, so slippery. So I'm going to put some salt and then again one more time. Nice massage. You will see a lot of forms also created. very clean. So let's boil. 
So I'm boiling my water, just waiting until really, really bubbling. How long you have to boil? This is very important because if you overcook, it's going to turn really tough. So it has to be cooked, but very soft and tender. So this is a four pounds of large, large octopus. I will just cook around 13 to 15 minutes. I like to make a nice shape. Good boy. When you cook the octopus, just uh, let it cook and open because the, it's going to be really boil over quickly. I brought my timer all the way from New York. So I will just cook this guy about 13 minutes. But soon I'm going to turn it over. Color change to red. Okay, let's turn it over again. Beautiful. Head is all cooked. It's done. 30 minutes passed. And Delicious, really salty from this its own body. So we gotta rinse cold water quickly. Gorgeous. I rinse this in cold water because otherwise all this skin is going to be all the easily peeled off. It's not pretty. So to get this nice skin and beautiful color, we have to quickly rinse this cold water. And then I will just let it cool down. From now, I don't have to worry about this. All done. So you guys can follow this, isn't it? You are not going to be afraid of any huge octopus. You can cook. <laughs> First, head. And then here, just a cut like this. You will see here in the middle, this is mouth. So mouth we need to remove. So let's put it back here. You can cut like this. Like this. So let's cut it this to eat. This guy here. Cut diagonally, slice thin. I'll make sauce. This is sesame oil sauce. Salt around a quarter teaspoon. And sesame oil. Sesame seeds. Let's put sesame seed here too. This wine is very special wine. It's produced in this area in Nice. Rosé, they call this rosé. So I'm going to I have some wine with my Muno Suke octopus. And then I'm going to add rose petals covered with sugar. The clock at the shop 
told me, oh, you can put this in your wine or anywhere and then make or tea and then rose flavor you can taste. Instead of sugar, you can use this rose sugar. And then actually the color also changed to really pinkish color, really pretty. Herb of Provence. I made a spaghetti sauce with this, really good flavor. And also I found that all area, any open air market, they sell this all well ripe persimmon. So I keep eating this. And also this is the rose tea. Expensive, but it's worth it. Why not? I like to taste this. It looks like heirloom tomatoes. They said beef heart. Does it look like beef heart? <laughs> yeah, pretty. I like to taste this. Sauce. Mm. Sweet and tender and juicy. This is most delicious octopus that I have tasted. The sesame oil salt dipping sauce is so awesome. I will have one more. This time I like to have the small piece. Mm. Amazing. So delicious. It's just really tender. This sauce very nutty, nutty and sea flavor, this octopus. This guy go well together, really, really yummy. Meanwhile, my wine color is a little change, isn't it? So pretty, like a blooming. Cheers, everybody. Mm. Good. Today, we made munosukhe cooked octopus with sesame oil sauce. Enjoy my recipe. See you next time. Bye.